Okay, so we we, we have to uh, the outline on the left here. Uh, what, what I want to do uh, principally, uh, we're going to write the three these these three little script scripts that I need in the concourse URI. Put them into a container, container and be used used as a source. Um, so. I think this warrants this is a standalone project. Um, uh, to that end, uh, let's see. Uh, so all the virtual, might as well do it all on the virtual machine. So, uh, right, right, let's uh, make a directory for our project, which we called it earlier. Uh, UI uh, uh, as a URI resource type, so um, what's the convention for resource type names? A convention for resource types. Uh, let's have a look. So the resources are typically um, they typically one word names. Let's just leave it as API, shall I, shall I? URI. Okay, URI. So, uh, okay, so, sorry, come to write URI. And we need to make these these scripts, uh, which are going to be loaded into uh, resource directory. So let's make a subdirectory called resource. And within that, uh, we'll create the three files. Uh, now, what are I? I'll check out and in. Okay. And. Uh, ooh, um, the, the most important, uh, the easy one for us is the out one. So if we just buy resource out, okay, so this is going to be no op, uh, and an op, I think, is just just exit success, I guess, I guess. So all we need to do is, and I'm seeing at the moment, I'll go back and fix this if it proves not to be the case. Now then, we're going to be, uh, is it going to be Alp or Bash, do you think? Mm. Oh, sorry, I'm in or Busybox. It matters because it's it, the type of shell we're going to use. Uh, well, I like probably use Bash. Well, well, I prefer it. Do you want to use? Uh, it's a bit redundant to, to do this, but uh, we'll do it anyway. Uh, just for, for the sake of neatness. And all this does is exit zero. Hardly earth shattering, is it? Now, did I install shell shaker check on? Okay, good. Okay, so, so hardly always is there. I mean, I mean, not exactly the most complicated script in the world, is it? Uh, so, so what in in? Uh, so we've got uh, check and and out, which are the two most important ones. Uh, neither of them are particularly complicated, I don't think. Uh, referring to my note, my note on the left here. here uh, check. The most difficult part of check is going to be the. Uh, extraction of the data, and I think that's not really complicated, is it? Now I do remember looking at a couple, a couple of the, uh, a couple of these, um, and they all seem to follow a fairly standard. Let's, let's just look at the concourse one ones. Uh, now this. Ah, now they. Ah, now these are called git dash resources. So I guess uh, for the, uh, again for the, for the sake of compass, let's, uh, let's change the name to U, U, uh, URI. 
It's a that one called it UI dash resources, which I just want to suppose makes sense. Okay. Uh, and the way they organize it is, is they have assets and they put the tray back in the asset. Oh, no, okay. Uh, so change the main name of resource uh, to assets. Other thing. Now I did notice that this this common edge is is pretty much standard. Uh, uh, as in, as in it's commonly used. Uh, if we look, if we look at check, this will give us some clues. And I think these begin bits are, are fairly standard. Uh, So for example, uh, I, first of all, it does all this redirecting so that they log the way we, we expect. Uh, uh, and this is because of the, if you remember from, from uh, yesterday, yesterday uh, when we were do, doing looking at this, uh, uh, because the input is used to pass passing the JSON data and the output is used uh, to uh, what's the output used for? Standard in was used for uh, in, inputting. Oh, standard out was used for the uh, uh, the JSON array of verbs, and all of the login messages were sent to standard error. So that's what that's what this will do. It's just juggling, juggling around the, the ins and outs and outs. Okay, so uh, reserve the standard out. By basically moving it on to um, uh, uh, descriptor, th uh, sorry, file descriptor three. Uh, then this next line is we take the standard output and redirect it all to standard error. So all of the all of the same, sorry, all of the file descriptor one output goes to file descriptor two. Uh, which means that whenever, whenever we do an error or anything like that, it's just going to go out to uh, the log, which is our standard error. Then, uh, this is just, just loading that common SH, just to ignore that for a second. And then we are making sure that we find JQ. Then. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We're creating a temporary file to hold the git resource, and, and that's what this magic is doing, doing: reading from the standard in, and then casting that out to to the payload file, uh, and then these are functions within in this common. Uh, and so it's sort of, sort of thematically loading, yeah, so it's using JQQ, uh, reading it in from, basically from, uh, loading, it, loading it in the file we just created. Uh, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure that we need to be that sophisticated. Uh, Yeah, I'm not sure that we need to be that sophisticated at this point. Point. All we really need is we need this mag at the beginning. Uh, 
so we might as well just, we'll just reduce that, that. We don't need this carbon S and S actually. Now then, temp directory assumes this is being loaded from con. Uh, yeah. I suppose declutter is the check, but our check is so trivial. Right, right, okay, so uh, we want to, to might as well go, in, go into the assets and we're going to put it in at the beginning. So that's exactly where it's going to be. And uh, I suppose going to put in our file type shell. Or we could do file type bash. Nah, file type shell. Um, This is this kind of that's it. What we'll do is we'll do the. That we're really doing it. Export if we do it all within here. Great. Mm. Right. We'll, we'll just do it. So, Tim, don't worry. It's going to be, going to be equal to it. And. It's either Tim directory or Tim. I'm not bothered too much about clearing, clearing, clearing up because, of course, the, the, um, finger trouble. Um, yeah, we don't have to do too much about clearing up these things, uh, which we normally would, would do by having an exit trap, given that this is all within a container, which is going to come and go. So, uh, it's really not worth stressing out about about so um, now let's get our pipe loaded um, uh, right, so that, that should get the payload load, and all we want from the payload is the uri so let's do UR, uri which is equal to and it, it is equal to whatever Comes back from JQ. Uh, and it'll be the source. Uh, oh, I have to check, check this minus R. Uh, dot source dot URI. Uh, now, URI specifies what we want to do with it. I suppose it's 
important, but we want, we want to error. Right. Mm -hmm. And okay, again, in this payload. Okay, uh, that is pretty much it. Uh, just out of interest, uh, I haven't got JQ installed on here, have I? I, um, I do have it installed on, on my Mac post, so we do. So it's raw output with this option. If, if the fill result log is a string, we read directly to some output rather than before. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. Okay. okay, that makes sense. That's it, really, isn't it? Uh, so we've got the URI. Now all the chance to do is hit it with, with the minus i and then find the location. So what we want is, is oh, sorry, say uh, the real location is equal to uh, all we're going to do is call minus i whatever. And then we'll pipe that through. Uh, now we want, we want to take the uh, second field. Uh, now normally I use awk for this. Uh, it, it depends what pain you are you using, whether I've got stuff installed or not. Oh, oh, well, with it, let's use all. Uh, so we use all, and all we're looking for is the line that ends with location. And we just want to print field. Yeah, correct, correct. Okay, and that that should give us the real location, and that essentially actually adds our uh, return value, doesn't it? So, so what we need to do now is just make sure that that gets to. Seriously, the dog. Uh, uh, is, is JQ going to help us with the input as well? Mm, okay. So again, again, steel stuff. But uh, this one's really complicated. Let's, uh, let's go back to. Huh. 
coat. And let's go go here and try something like. A simple one to steal, steal, steal some idea off. Again, we've got it overly complicated. Uh, what was the one I was looking at the other day? Um, oh, I forget what it was. It was Jaywalk. Oh, your factory. Here we go. Sorry. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> so, so it's just. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just echo. The version string. Uh, the version string. Using things this to just okay. So, so we can use JQ. Um, um, we're going to create an object, object I suppose. I suppose it makes it nicer. Let's do that. So, so we're going to do uh, a JQ size n and Create an array. Array is going to contain um, just a no point in point. National about that is there. Uh, dot dollar real lock. Uh, mm. Do I need to? Uh, do I need to quote it? I suppose I do. Really, don't know. Don't know. Yeah, let's quote it. Quote it. Not so. If I'm going to do that, do that, I might as well use JQ. Ah. Location. So oh, that's a minute. Um, then close off the brackets. And, and, and of course, that is good. Going to go out to um, to three, which is actually because of our remapping earlier, uh, all the way at the top here. Okay, so thanks to this remapping here, he's actually going out to standard. Uh, and that, that, I think, is it uh, for the check. And then, uh, if we want to do the in, uh, it's going to be very similar, except, uh, oops, uh, except, uh, uh, I'm uh, I have a set on the divide. So the first uh, first what two four, six eight ten twelve lines mm, about the same same. Ah, again, let's go back and back. Now, <coughs> oh, the answer is yes. They are about the same same. So what do we need to do, do account for? Uh, Right, so it's the destination this time, which is just just the directory that we're going to write some stuff out in. Uh, so really, oh, oh, thing is, uh, so, so I get oh, this time the destination is coming in as the first parameter, and we still have to load the, the payload. So the payload is still coming from. Ooh, 
okay okay so it's going in the same way uh, which means uh, basically I can I mean all of this is still going to be the same uh, from here isn't it so if we just yank that to the top, top and ah So basically, if we take, take all that, uh, we've got to add to that uh, the destination, which is going to be uh, $1. And I put that quote. Uh, that really ought to be in quote as well. So, uh, so now, now uh, our payload and it's no longer the resource request, is it? It's the, the uh, actually, I suppose it is. Mm. A check and then it should never be running at the same time in the same region. In the same thing. So, yeah, that'll do. Okay, so the destination, uh, and it's not really a Git Reels request, is it? It's, uh, it's a URI request. If you're going to steal off cover tracks by changes in the names, right? Eh? So now we've got our destination and we've got the payload in that, that directory which you can now get the Oh for crying out loud. Mm. Right, it means we can now get the real URI by doing that view trick again uh, and then it's the source URI uh, uh, read from, from the payload so that should get us source URI then uh, we need to do our, our cur minus L for your right uh, and the output. Uh, now we've got an output directory but not an output file name which is fine because 
what we really want is for that to go to the dis distinction loops. And we want a fairly standardized file name so that it's easy for us to find. So we go, go to destination directory and we will, we will call it um, file system dot zip because we know it's going to be a zip file. Uh, and then the next thing is supposed to unzip that okay. destination uh, actually just to think of it is probably be better to cd to z Keep it all in the family, mm -hmm. and we will do it to uh, do we to put it back afterwards? Yeah, it's probably light, isn't it? We'll, we'll do it, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll do it. Um, so we'll do it like that. Now we have not covered any errors and conditions or anything like that. We just 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 share everything we do. Okay. Uh, and call and call the URI is no 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 longer source URI is it? Mm. No no, it's no no. It's going to be the first element. Of the array, um, uh, let's just go back to here. So this one. Still getting in source and conversion strategy. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, because it still passes that, doesn't it? And it passes the version of being. Yeah, because it, 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 yeah, if you go back to the original specification for the resource types, you know, when you do defining resource type, what you get, get is you get the source version. Right. And we get the same thing again. Okay, okay so the version is what we're, in, we're interested in. Okay, so in actual fact, fact this is, is not that at all. Okay, what we need is uh, it's going to be a version, and there's going to be an object which is going to going to contain the URI. And we want, uh, I, I suppose, the zeroth element of it. No. No, we want the, the zero element of ver version. Mm. And then we want the URI right family. Yes, that, that sounds reasonable. Mm. Oh, well, you're the one who got that. Come on then. Okay. Right. Mm. 
Right now, thank you for getting down it. Right, so let's just try that, shall we? Right, let's do. Uh, so what we've got is uh, uh, we're going to have that with uh, version. That version is going to be an array of objects with URI. Uh, thank you, not, not helping. And, So now we've got a good output. So now what we want is dot version zero dot UI. So really, okay, so that's the that's the right one, isn't it? And we always want we want to it would only ever be the first one. So that sh should is what, what we want. Okay. So let's uh, write all of those. You're not helping you now, Kenny. Okay. Uh, okay, so we've now got our, our apps in place. Uh, and of course, we, we do need. Uh, a Docker file to create. Uh, I assume uh, that's precisely uh, what's going on in these. Let's go back to uh, here. I kind of guess that we get a, yeah, get a Docker file. Uh, and this one is using Alpine, so uh, mm -hmm. this is using correct form. Oh, so presumably, this is all. job uh, well, we should be doing of course is in here we should be doing user well, I'll say I'll say it, it, this is this sort of like a bit nitpicky um, in general you been n is a better way of finding your new scripts because we're doing this inside a container where, where we know exactly what's what, um, it's difficult to really bother with this just a bit of doing this. Doing this. Uh, because we know where the bin is. In. It's, these, are, these are not going to be in any weird good context. Uh, so if we do, if we do a docker. <laughs> Uh, uh, if we do a file uh, and we do it from, we'll do, we'll do it from our point, point. See how we get on. Uh, our point, point. And uh, well, do some research. Uh, 
enable for the maintainer. Interesting, but important. We're going to change all of these because once I've salty vagrant mailing system set up. Mm. Okay. Uh, so we need to copy. 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 Uh, everything you think in the asset. I'm going to go across to. Okay, well that loads our scripts in place, and then, then we want to run uh, run uh, no cash add and what add where did that come? Uh, it's all <coughs> Next time, next door you see bugger. Right, so I uh, want to install that. Uh, yes, that's a good idea. So, so, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, it doesn't seem that we need entry points or anything like that. That actually dealt with my car uh, So that's it really. Let's try that and we'll do a docker build. We'll call it sorting development slash Failed. No source files were specified. Mm -hmm. That's because I've called them assets and we need an SNS. Okay. And we've got our unset orc is missing. Ah. As is a misspelled sort of CA certificate. Uh, no, this could mean a re rethink. Uh, so uh, just go back. Let's have a look.
just need mention of that. Very hard, hard to give the orc. I mean, it's one of the most common one blood utilities out there. Okay, this is all right. Mm -hmm. Helping me not walk. That old didn't mention on the page. You can see these search engines are fucking dull shit when it comes to funny stuff, isn't it? Uh, am I gonna? I'm gonna have to start an app on just just so I can find this bloody thing. Thing. Up. Okay, let's let's just try something simpler. Let's try it. just walk. Save package is easy. Mm -hmm. How do I find which package of which your file belongs to? Right, so APK. Uh, I suppose you have to already have it installed, but uh, who owns? Yeah, I'll, I'll bet you have to already already already. Old. Actually, he's always all already of it. That would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? <sighs> okay, so orc is already installed. That's how common it is. Which is a bit, bit of a bugger. Right, okay. Well, uh, that makes life easy, easy doesn't it? Uh, I suppose. Uh, 
Let me see that. Check, check. No. Okay, okay. Okay, right, let's try that build again. That should be fairly straightforward for we'll do. Right. Okay, so we've got that installed. So the, the um, simplest way of testing this is to create uh, our, our pipeline. So I guess that's a job for, for the next year. Okay, uh, I know, I know, no, it's dinner time, I'm going to get you dinner. Right, I'm going to get these dogs and dogs and dinner and for a WLUA. Okay, uh, so I'll catch you on the next stream.